What is going on guys? My name is Bugs TV, and I have some more Battlefield 1 gameplay for you guys. So we got flown out to Germany to attend Gamescom and be a part of the live stream squads event for Battlefield 1. I'm playing the new map, this desert map, and it is so much fun. But we have a rush in a sniper video, rush slash sniper video for you guys today. Gonna talk a little bit about the new game mode, the new map, sniping gadgets, word things and stuff, um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a blast, so well, let's get into it. First of all, this is, uh, the gameplay you're watching right now is Rush. This is the new game mode in Rush, or it's an old game mode, but we have now 12v12 in Battlefield 1. It is not, no longer 64 versus, or 32 versus 32, or a 64 player server. Um, it is, uh, and I don't know if they're going to change that, we weren't really sure, but Currently, what the build we played, it was 12v12, and again, this is alpha, beta, whatever you have you. So it's it's gonna change probably greatly. But currently, it, it seems Rush is very, very good, and it, it could be a very competitive game mode. We it, since it's 12v12, you have smaller squad sizes, and it was it was a blast playing it. But it could be competitive, and it felt like there could be very you could be very tactical if you can have strategy, you know, push up your tank. Uh, at certain times, you know, flank let. It was it was fun. It was it was a really good idea for competitive gameplay. And I'm I'm excited to see how it plays out. I'm sad to see that Rush doesn't have that same player size, but uh, we'll see how that plays out. But after after a few games, we did get to acquainted with it. Now, as far as tanks go, they're crazy. Once the attacking team gets started with a tank, it's really hard to bring a tank down. Sometimes you get two tanks, or you know, sometimes the tanks felt really crazy. Uh, in this game mode, so we'll see how they tweak it. Uh, I don't know uh, if it's gonna be tweaked at all, but uh, it was it was a blast. And we had fun. Uh, moving on, but so now we have the sniper, new sniping gadget. We have a binocular, and I don't think I have a video of it. I'm not sure if it's gonna be in here, um, but it's it's a, it's a binocular and it spots people. And why why do you need that when you have a sni sniper? You might ask. Um, well, this binocular extends above you, so you can actually look over a wall with it and see on the other side. Again, it's zoomed in very, very far, so I'm not sure how this is going to affect, or if it's going to be good, if it's just a gimmicky tool that you could use kind of for fun situations, um, but it, it just looked over the wall. You could spot out people on the other side. It was, it was just, it was just there. I, I didn't really, I would put it on, unequipped it, you know, it was goofy. Um, but yeah, moving on. So now then we have the new flare. We have a flashbang or a flash flare. Um, it blinds you like crazy. So this, you, if we were, I was having fun. If you shoot it at directly at an enemy, they kind, if they look, or if they're right in front of it, um, this. This flare would def it blinds you and it blinds you continuously. It just doesn't go away like a flashbang. So if you're looking at it, the longer you look at it, the more blind you're gonna get. So it was it was interesting. Um, when I shot it at my feet, it, it and people were looking at me from a distance. I don't know if it had the same effect because they were still sniping me through the flare. Uh, but it was interesting. It was it was fun. Next we got obviously we have the regular flare which spots people but they actually tweaked it so instead of getting one shot you have two shots now which was awesome. One thing we noticed in this in this build of the game this alpha um, and hopefully it gets fixed maybe um, or maybe it's intended but they had one flare disappear when you shot the other flare. So you shot the first flare, reload, shot the second one, the first one would disappear. Maybe it's a balancing issue because it would be overpowered. But um, but it feels like, and we, me, Stadi, um, Drunksy, who's another professional player, he, we were talking about how good this flare is. And it, it's the only thing, real thing that will spot people guaranteed on the minimap. It's like a motion sensor. It, it, and you can't really see anybody on the minimap anymore because you shoot bullets in the game and they just you, you, you don't see them pop up it's like everybody has a silencer so having this utility as a, as a scout class is really really nice really awesome I think flare the spotting flare is probably gonna be a necessity on the sniper class so we'll see um, if anything else comes out when the game launches but so far this was almost like you had to have it to be a really good scouting recon 
Um, but yeah, I think that was it for the gadgets. Um, sniping. We had a new sniper put into the game for this new map and new game mode. It's Revere 8, is it 1895? Um, it was a close range sniper, so it's a super heavy, or uh, super close range gameplay heavy sniper, if that makes sense. It's still one shot headshot at any distance. It had a slower velocity though, or it was a slower drag. The the muzzle velocity or the drag when it, when it got affected by the drag, it felt very slow. So kind of compare it on Battlefield 4 to a CS5. But it still had that quick velocity out to maybe like 50 meters, so it was perfectly fine. The fire rate, however, was insane. You could pop off shots, and it had a straight pull, so you didn't have to unzoom, and you could just pop off shots left and right. It was no problem. Um, it felt really good. Um, so if you don't, if you're not gonna go for that that one shot body shot, and you're gonna you're not gonna go for that sweet spot. And half the time, I I really like this gun because half the time I'm going for headshots only anyway because I want to get headshots. So if you're going for the headshot only. Only close range play style. This is going to be a really, really good gun. This is one of them, the guns that I stuck to when we were testing out the game exclusively. I played this gun a lot because I wasn't I, the, the one shot body shot or the sweet spot um, out to a certain range. It was like, eh, you go for it sometimes, but most of the time you're going to go for headshots anyway. So this felt really good. But again, this one is close range only. So those long shots, it took a long time for that bullet to travel the distance to get those long shots. New map, the new map is this desert map. I don't forget the name. God, I'm terrible at these, but very, very large. We had a hell of a time traveling this map. Rush game mode, game mode felt awesome with this, but Conquest, when we got to try it out, it was huge. They have a, an objective off in the desert, off in Guam. It was really hard to get out there, but there's, there's obviously perks to getting that objective out there. We just, it was, it was really large. But it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I think people that like tanks and people that like to play with vehicles are going to love this map. Snipers too. This is kind of like your sniper oriented tanking map. Um, so that was that was a blast to play on. So this is just a small video I wanted to get out of the way, make a little commentary. But yeah, snipers still in a very very good smot, spot spot a spot in the game. They have I think they actually maybe tweaked them a little bit. The bullet velocity is maybe increased. They're long range monsters. There's really not anything that can compete up to that range. You know, you have the SMGs and LMGs and assault rifle DMRs. They're really good up close, but they can't, they, the accuracy falls off at a distance. So I love that they're making snipers kings of long range. Maybe not go for as much of the close range quick scoping and those, you know, I, that was my old play style and I'm, I'm gonna miss it, but being the monster of long range and getting feeds from a distance still plays very, very, very well. And I'm excited about it. So I don't think they need to change it. It's in a really good spot. Hopefully they don't balance too much stuff in the game and they keep the snipers as the kings of the long range. But uh, yeah, that's it for this commentary. I'm gonna get some more videos for you guys. I have a ton of footage. Uh, maybe I want to get the lovely Lala into maybe like a dual commentary. Um, so if you guys watch my Twitch channel, you can hear her in the background. We can do like a fun little dual commentary um, later. But yeah, that was it for this video, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, my name is Bugs TV. Appreciate it so much. Hit that follow, like button. Follow my Twitch page. I broadcast every day, for every day from there. Uh, but yeah, words, thanks, stuff. Love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace out, and I love you. Yeah, that's it. We Bye. have taken objective, George.